one, there seems to be a certain chemistry between yourself and Derek. You know, where does that develop? <laughs> I don't know why I laugh. <laughs> I feel like people keep asking that. Uh, I don't know. Um, I just think it's a connection that we just sort of built. Um, it's definitely something that uh, we've been working on for a while since OTA. And I've told him how I see things and we're on the same accord in terms of how he sees things. Uh, the one thing about it is just that I know where he's going to throw it and I try to be there. Um, the one thing I learned from, uh, I went to tight end you this past um, summer and I learned a lot from Travis Kelsey and he was talking about um, sort of a piano. And so, you know how one hand plays on uh, one key and the other hand plays another key. And as long as that quarterback's on one sort of tone and I'm on the other and we all work together to make a, make a melody, um, that's sort of how a QB and a receiver has to be. So. I'm kind of doing my thing and getting open, and he's doing his thing to get a drop back, avoid getting sacked, things like that. And so um, it just becomes beautiful music when we all put it together. And so um, I just try to get open. I'm just doing my job. Uh, I kind of sort of have the easy job, and he has a hard job in making checks and stuff like that. So he throws the ball. I just have to make a play. I know this is a ball distribution offense, but do you sense a breakout season for you? Honestly, uh, a breakout is whatever you make it. Um, everybody has their own sort of break out what it means. Uh, I could say yes, or I could say wh whatever whatever it is, but at the end of the day, um, if I have one, what does it matter if we don't win? You know, because at the end of the day, that's why we're here. That's why DA put this team together. That's why Derek's here. That's why Mike T's back, so we could have um, sort of a breakout team, so we could win, so we could have um, another um, divisional title, so we could have, you know, clinch that number one seed, so we can win the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, so I can say I, I want to have a breakout season because who doesn't? At the end of the day, if, if we don't win, uh, it's a failure to me because I'm at the end of the day I'm, I'm tired of you know going home at the last game and it's just like watching teams that I know we beat or we could have beaten or better than who are in the playoffs. So yeah, just want to be in the postseason, make a run for it. You know, obviously we've had a chance to chart your development since you've gotten here, but did you foresee this when they said, "Hey, we want you to switch positions"? <clears throat> did you foresee this? Increase. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I always seen myself being a good player. Um, that's how I've always, you know, carried myself. You know, going into even you know high school, college, and me just being a good player. But I knew I always could be great, and so um, that's the that's the tier I'm trying to break into is being great. And so, um, you know, I do a lot of things good, but I know there's improvements that I can make, um, both receiving, pass blocking, and just being a leader. And uh, those are all things, and they're very tangible. And I think if I stay consistent in what I'm doing, um, guys gravitate to me um, just because of, you know, what I try to do consistently and not, you know, say one thing and talk, you know, the side of my mouth. I just try to, you know, be who I am. And uh, I think that's gravitates on the field and off the field. So I just keep doing that, and I think it's going to be good. You know, you mentioned tight end you. Overall, how much does that help in your development when you're talking to fellow tight ends who yeah. kind of giving you some tricks in the trade? Yeah. I think going into the tight end position, just to start, I didn't know too much about it. I think uh, when I first started, I didn't know what a technique was. I didn't know what a nine tech, eight, I didn't know, I didn't know any of that. I didn't, I just went into it and was blocking bodies. So, um, yeah, it was pretty tough for me to, to start off I mean, because uh, I would go in to it and people were like, yeah, just block the seven tech. And I was like, I don't know if that's right, left, is these insiders, I, I had no idea. Um, but I, that was just more of like a self-evaluation, more of self-study for me and just investing in what I need to know. Um, tight end, you taught me a lot because I was around tight ends that I haven't been around before. I think personally for me, I haven't learned a lot um, from guys before other than um, Adam Troutman, who's helped me out tremendously in my development. But I think other than him, um, I haven't learned a whole lot from players in terms of, um, yeah, you should do this and this is how we do things, this is how you set. So it's just like, for me, it was really good for me to go there and learn a lot. So they, they gave you the cheat code. They, they gave me the cheat code. I think, <laughs> and I think that helps because like, if I'm just going out there, I mean, yeah, I've, I've had success, but I think it helps when you, you know, you, you learn new techniques, you learn new skills. And that's why people go on sabbaticals and stuff, just to learn more stuff about themselves and, you know, to the, the learn more about, um, you know, their craft. And so, you know, me going there, it was sort of my little sabbatical. So uh, I, I loved it. It was great. And um, I think that was uh, good for me to go there.